Hi, hello, namaskara. Today we are going to be in conversation with a multi-professional who is heading the business management in a company called Perry Mason Johnson and Associates and also a singer who has won many hearts of the audiences, organizers and also music composers. Kumaran has been known for his tonal texture and often called the feel guru in the music fraternity. We are going to be in an interesting conversation in the co-corner with Kumaran Mutharaman today. Hi Kumaran, how are you? I am doing good Rajni, how are you? Very well, thank you. This is called the co-corner in conversation with Kumaran Mutharaman by Rajni Radhakrishnan. So before we begin, I'd like to ask you from the first step of your life, which we've all known as a business development manager from Perimesi Johnson and Associates Company. So can you just, you know, tell us more about your company and the role you play there in it so that okay. then we can you know, progress towards what we are actually wanting to talk about you as a singer, as an artist, as a musician. Sure, sure, Rajini, sure. See, I work as a business development manager right now in uh, Perry Johnson. This was actually some time back when my company was not doing so good in their core um, work. So I had to do a dual role. So basically, I am a quality guy. So I have always been in this quality department for a long, long time. You are a quality guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I used to manage quality in my previous organization also. So from there, I came to this organization and I was taken as a quality manager. Then I became a senior quality manager, then quality head of uh, both uh, India and US operations. So basically, um, I used to manage that. But as you know, uh, my field is medical transcription field. So basically, it's, an, uh, it's a healthcare industry. Yeah. So this, uh, when AI took over, a uh, lot of um, like these jobs became less. So basically, our uh, work also became a uh, bit less. So we wanted to actually diversify our business and try to tap into the domestic market. So that is when uh, I was asked to take up this role of uh, business development manager. And I'm enjoying it actually. <laughs> Already a couple of projects. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask you this question of, you know, having to balance both the professions as a singer and as another professional also. You still have this contented mindset or a face that, you know, we see. <laughs> How do you really manage this? <laughs> See, for me, uh, the other profession as a singer, uh, it's more of um, like in the sense, a soul satisfying uh, profession for me. So if you ask the other part, when, when very frankly speaking, when, when you say about my uh, role in my company and how I work, it's actually just for money. It's, it's kind of a tension. It's, it's totally different. For in music, uh, it's totally different for me. It, it, I enjoy that. But I, I see that you enjoy both of it. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, you know, it's very convincing that, you know, you are enjoying to play the role of that professional there also, as much as you are on the stage as a singer. So, <laughs> it's very hard, but kudos to you. However, you're Thank managing you. it, but Thank then you. the formula is only known to you very well. Thank you so much. It's kind of a learning experience when you are doing your work in your office in a corporate life. A lot of things that you learn uh, that you can incorporate into your music yeah, also. Right? That. So basically uh, that will help. And again, from the music field, my uh, my professional life has also gained a lot. Uh, I would say a lot of connects. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. When I took this BDM That's interesting. work, yeah, a lot of people whom I am associated with music uh, that is when, first time, don't you believe, like I, I was just logging into LinkedIn. I was not very active in LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, when I became a BDM, so I started to see, then I see, okay, okay, this person is holding such a big position in his company. You, you will realize, start realizing actually what they do actually. So you go and sing with them, they're your friends and all that. But what they do professionally, you start to explore when you see all this uh, LinkedIn. And that is when actually I started to just engage with them in terms of my work. Uh, so a lot of people who are holding very high positions started to actually even involve me in their business side also. So that mm -hmm. helped me a lot. It was kind of a vice versa, mm -hmm. both the music 
as a as a singer helped in my professional professional life and my professional life also helped me in my music field so it's kind of great a, to know that <laughs> so, but then how did you start off your singing career the, i mean did you have this as a lineage in your family or were you the trend setter actually speaking um trend setter yeah i would yeah. say that because there was no professional singer from my family that's at all that's all the more difficult <laughs> yeah my mom used to sing she is a person who keeps singing everywhere like in the kitchen when she cooks something she'll sing uh when she just sits in the sofa talking to us she'll start singing so she's a born singer actually i would say my mom but never she attempted uh, in a stage or anything never my father no he doesn't know much about uh, music or singing or music yeah he listens to a lot of songs but you no know, singing but um, uh, that my mom's uh, uh, passion actually maybe influenced me also really yeah, <laughs> yeah. sometimes the music in the air is all you need to you know pick those and yeah. uh, vibes or energy that you call it and then you know Absolutely. take it up from there take it Absolutely. forward from there like that Yeah. And uh, yeah, I uh, when when I was around fifteen, sixteen year old. Till that time, I was more of a listener. Mm. I never used to sing. Actually, <laughs> never I sang. Maybe in bathroom I used to sing. But fifteen, sixteen years later, I started to realize that okay, I have something, some raw material where I can actually explore. Um, then I started to sing. Uh, some some in college. Then I was in RTTC. My father was working there, so in Mysore. so there was a competition there that was the first stage you you should see me how i was in going and getting to the stage and uh, i sang a kannada song it was wow. a rajotsava event mm-hmm. so i i studied kannada so basically i am a multilingual person actually so i am yes, basically i am a tamilian but i know kannada because i studied kannada my parents are from palakkad so i know malayalam um my wife is a telugueta so i know a bit of telugu also so basically i uh, know a lot of languages so this was a rajotsava event mm-hmm. so people uh, were apprehensive that this person cannot sing kannada properly yeah, he is uh-huh. a tamilian but i won the first prize there the name itself <laughs> says so kumaran muthuraman so stamped of a tamilian <laughs> brand there but yeah so good you won the first prize yes 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 i uh, i can remember i sang um, ide nadu ide paashe are so that was my first song uh, i took up all the courage to get to the stage and uh, in front of people that was butterflies for me but but when i started singing i started to involve so that was ah. when i realized that it was the tension was still that time that's all no wonder you have this feel guru aspect from <laughs> when you were a child then <laughs> thank you thank you so much i think much. you feel it yeah absolutely you know, you feel, you i feel, feel uh, yeah bhavam is uh, bhava is a very important aspect in uh, music and not only in singing for everything i think even in instrumentalists when when you see some people will just play according to the notes some have that soul in you know, yes. so there is a difference right connect yeah so i feel bhavam is very very important so for true. a musician so true and that you know even when it transforms to the audience who sitting and listening to you you get that energy somehow you get that energy and absolutely. Then, absolutely absolutely i think that that's the beauty of you know having that kind of a feel aspect to your singing and which absolutely. all of us admire thank you so much thank you <laughs> i also wanted to ask you one thing that like you performed in many many shows you have lent your voice for innumerable shows and then you have even recorded for uh, a movie or two or Correct. maybe more which i am not aware of but then you know there must be something or some occasion or some stage which is extra special it's very unfair to say that you know uh, every stage is definitely going to be special in its own little way but for some reason that you know it best that you find one particular stage which holds very close to your heart can you just yeah yeah there are couple of them actually i would say mm. the first one holds for uh, definitely ganagandhar one yesudas uh, uh-huh. uh, singing with yesudas ji that was uh, one of the biggest moments in my life i would say how it uh, transformed we were nine singers 
who were supposed to sing chorus. Mm. We sang chorus actually. All nine of them uh, stood behind uh, Yasudas Ji. It was an Ayyappan devotional mm. show which happened in Gudiwada in uh, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra. Okay, so it's near Vijayawada. One month we practiced. It was all Telugu. Telugu and uh, Telugu lyrics and Telugu songs. And, so when you um, write down the lyrics in, uh, yeah, I took uh, when, my when you have to help. sing yeah. in Telugu, do you write it down in Telugu no, or Kannada, Kannada, Kannada or Kannada, English? Kannada. 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 So, yeah. some of, see, I can uh, actually uh, speak a lot of languages, but write and um, read, I can uh, do Kannada, Tamil, um, English, Hindi, that's all. That's also so, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I sing Kannada songs, I listen, I uh, see uh, Kannada only. So, basically, so we prepared and uh, we all went to the stage. It was a huge, huge, huge show. I would say it was a stadium in Gudiwada. 25,000 crowd. That was a huge show and um, it was all a devotional. And uh, you, you must be knowing that I adore him as a god actually. Know, so, basically, being a devotional show and uh, singing with him uh, in the same stage, talking to him and uh, interacting with him was the biggest uh, time in my life. So, we, he, he sings three songs and we have to go and sing one solo song. So, that, wow. was, the, that was the arrangement there. That is so magnanimous, magnanimous of a legend absolutely. of his stature to give platform <laughs> to somebody, you know, who is in the chorus and then giving them yeah. an opportunity to, you know, sing an individual solo song. Absolutely. That explains his uh, magnanimity. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I sang uh, Shankara Anadha Sharira. Hmm. That's a, one of another god of mine, S.P. Balasubramanian song. So he was appreciating Actually, I that. I was going to ask you that as my next question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this was actually one of my biggest uh, moments in my life where in the music field, uh, singing in front of uh, Ganagandharvan, Yesudas Ji. And another one was uh, with Chitra Ma'am. Uh, that was um, a show in, uh, for army we did mm. in uh, Kunur. Mm. Very big show and uh, she's so sweet actually. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, to share stage with uh, Chitra Ma'am is uh, very special. I shared with her a uh, couple more times after that. But it was a very, very uh, big experience for me and a uh, very goosebumps moment. See, actually, for us, uh, to even just watch their performance, if they're performing anywhere in the city itself is a big thing. So, I can imagine what kind of a gratifying experience it would have been for you to stand next to her and then <laughs> be a part of the show. And yeah. these are all celebrated legends. Yeah, absolutely. Really, yeah. absolutely. And she'll make you very comfortable. I'll tell you, I've, I've sung with a lot of people actually. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, singers from Bangalore are very, very talented. In Chennai, very, very talented. And uh, when singing with Chitrama, uh, you feel that you are home. Okay, you, it's not like she will make you so comfortable. She'll crack a joke or two on uh, something, and she will say that, and you'll feel oh great. You you don't have to actually you you'll just forget that you're singing with a legend. So that is the kind of um, a, a lady she is actually. So very magnanimous, very 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 wonderful uh, person. I would say. <laughs> Actually, yes. I mean, uh, when you think of her also, it's just that beautiful smile and a pure person that she is, I think, you know, is what comes across. Yeah, yeah. like the a kid, like a child she's. <laughs> without interaction, I think, you know, people in the audience can actually connect with her. Correct. I mean, that kind of vibes she sends out, you know, to everybody. So, Amazing. I was just going to ask you that, you know, you have also worked with a lot of legendary artists and then, you know, Anybody who has been a strong influence are you on you or uh, anybody whom you admire the most? There could be more than one, definitely. It can't be just one. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I know that it's unfair to even expect just one person or one genre to be following or to, you know, assimilate whatever they are giving correct, you know, for uh, you as a musician to learn. Who all did you follow and then who are, do you continue to worship or, you know, idolize and then follow their uh, formula. I don't know if there's any formula <laughs> as such, but, you know, uh, yeah. to improvise upon your uh, yeah. singing caliber. 
see every singer has a in, like influence okay that means uh, they look look up to uh, a lot of singers actually mm-hmm. i look up to spb sir because he has been so may, maybe may, i don't know with my knowledge or without my knowledge or whatever my voice culture a bit little bit it uh, uh, there are similarities between me and uh, spb sir actually some come some bass voice or whatever but uh, somehow i feel that um, he sees my uh, first guru uh, uh-huh. in terms of his uh, style the kind of uh, modulations that he brings about in singing various songs thousands of songs actually but if you listen to one song it will not be uh, like another song right it will be totally different huh. and you can visualize the uh, emotions there you can visualize the actor you can visualize a lot of things when you listen to um, you SPB can visualize self. your own self with the person whom you will connect actually at Uh, no, with the lyrics or the tune of the song, that that's the beauty of his uh, expression Correct. of uh, singing, Allah. Right? So that one, you know, I wanted to acquire a bit, one percent. If I acquire that qualities, you know how we, how he is uh, so sincere about uh, learning a song and singing the song. See, you, you, they sing ten songs, fifteen songs in a day. uh they don't have time to actually like us where we um, the track singing is there then you listen to it for one week you learn go to the studio record bit by bit on all the stuff they were not doing all that so they were just going there maybe the music director would have uh, given them the, uh, the tune and they will give some track singers uh, track in 5 10 minutes 15 minutes they'll grasp everything and they will sing that's a big 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 uh, what is a legendary things you need to I do that actually know. right i'm I've, even now singers are there in a uh, lot of singers right now they do the same thing but a lot of technology has improved where they make a mistake they don't again, again sing it and they'll uh, rectify in all the uh, so those things were not there at that time so i uh, acquired a, i wanted to acquire a lot of qualities of uh, speech sir um like that like uh, grasping the song trying to understand the meaning and trying to visualize that song in your mind uh, when you sing if it is a romantic song <laughs> visualize course, something you know romantic about your right? life and then you know i <laughs> 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 uh, no comments on that <laughs> oh, yes <laughs> uh, but yes yeah when whenever you uh, try to sing a song whether it is a pathos or if it is a romantic or if it is a philosophical or if it's a patriotic so try to bring in those um, feel that can we get to listen to <laughs> something of spb sir and also dr k j sundas sir yeah two sure, two lines of them so they had a bit of a different i try to imitate okay it it's, it's a crime i know that to imitate you have to be on your original thing but I tried to do it because I wanted to actually bring in their emotions, try right. So that is you when probably, I probably uh, you are getting inspired. Inspired, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so some of the songs, maybe I'll sing a couple of lines for you. Uh, one song which really uh, people, whenever I perform in my live shows, no, they wanted to listen to this and they become very emotional. One is this. <laughs> ಹಾಡಾಗಿ ಬಂತು ಆನಂದದಿಂದ ಸಿಂಧೂರ ಬಿಂದು ನಗಲಮ್ಮ ಎಂದು ಎಂದೆಂದು ಇರಲಮ್ಮ ಈ ದಿವ್ಯ ಬಂಧ ನೂರೊಂದು ನೆನಪು ಎದೆಯಾಳದಿಂದ ಹಾಡಾಗಿ ಬಂತು ಆನಂದದಿಂದ Wow. That's a beautiful song. <laughs> so true to the concept of this uh, podcast. Okay. So can we have one bit of uh, Dr. K. J. Sudhar's song? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. The one more song that uh, um, of uh, Sudhar's song, which always I end up end uh, singing this um, for any live program, is uh, this song. Okay. Kanne kalai maane. ಕಣ್ಣಿಮಯಿಲಿನ ಕಂಡೇನು ನೈ ನಾನೇ ಅಂದಿಪಗಲು ನೈ ನಾನ್ ಪಾರ್ಕಿರಿ 
ஆண்டவனை இதைத்தான் கேட்கிறேன் ராரிராரு ஊராரிரோ ராரிராரு ஊராரிரோ சுருமை அக்கியோமே நல்லா முன்னாய்க்கு சப்புநாதே ஜாரே நிந்தியாக்கி உடுத்தே பாக்கிரே அக்கியுமே ஆஜா சாக்கிரே ராரி ராரு ஹுராரிரு ராரி ராரு ஹுராரிரு <laughs> that was a genius of Hilaraja to compose a song like that. He has composed thousands of them. But this one holds a special place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> indeed, indeed. These are all uh, melodies that I think, you know, every audience will connect with and every person can uh, hum around. And then it's a feel-good factor kind of song. Absolutely. Yeah. Touch us somewhere, na? Yeah. It gives a, some in your heart, some string is yeah, yeah. plugged. <laughs> strummed <laughs> strummed exactly <laughs> they say a lot of things in guitar yeah, yeah it's like that yeah. so basically i love singing uh, melodies melodies mostly, mostly yeah and you yeah, would have realized it <laughs> yeah yeah because the first time that i saw you on stage was also uh, in a show where you sang uh, i think you learned i oh, think okay. that has always remained my favorite and i have always requested you to sing that song because <laughs> I think that suits you and your personality to fit into that song and then deliver it also so well which definitely you know has some kind of you know energy that you send out to the audience which is so beautiful to take it back home one Absolutely. line of it anyway <laughs> since i've always requested why not now yeah yeah when ilaya nila purigirade இதயம் வரை நினைகிறதே உலப்பூகும் மேகம் கனக்காணுமே விழாக்காணுமே வானமே இளைய நிலா புழிகிறது But one thing, uh, on a serious note, if I have to ask you, there's so much of traffic of singers today. You know, I mean, good singers, good artists only. How do you, you know, really maneuver through this process and uh, does it shatter you, does it uh, disappoint you or does it make you feel missed out? Is there anything like that that you feel... Uh, that you know if i'm working also and if i'm not able to give uh, that much time to singing and on stages and be available as a singer does it kind okay. of set any insecurity in you <laughs> okay no uh, the short answer is no because i um, i'm a, I, i feel i'm a different person here you are a very i i never human yeah being i don't uh, i don't consider anybody as my uh, competitor or mm-hmm. or maybe uh, i feel disappointed in terms of not getting any chance or no i never actually i i am a very contented person actually from whatever of, i have um, seen you all you know uh, no new in fact uh, i think you have been a very good samantha in this music industry even for me when i started off you know doing some shows when i wouldn't uh, know who to work with you know for such and such project because each project will require a different voice quality or a performer or an artist or a serious singer it could be gazelles it could be bhavagit it could be you know film music it could be carnatic it could be so many things na right? So when I have always approached you, you have given the right suggestion and then also, you know, introduced me to quite a few of them in the industry. So actually, I knew that, you know, you are a very contented person and not... <laughs> no, they uh, all deserve it, right? Yeah. To me, it's a different thing. You also thing deserve and, uh, it, but then you have been very generous. <laughs> no, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, I want to connect people who are really deserving. So that is very yeah. important for any artist uh, singing, at least especially singers. who are not uh, getting the pro- 
proper stage they will not get uh, so some of them are completely into music i am not actually completely into music i am i work as a professional and i do singing as my uh, second profession so there are people i realized in covid times okay? i don't want to call it a second profession <laughs> <laughs> no but at the end of the day i feel that um, some of them are really talented and they struggled through this two years of covid then i realized so, actually it was uh say we sailed through very smoothly i would say god's grace there was That's no problem with um, finance and it was all we sailed through very smoothly and uh, i could see struggles of a lot of people actually a lot of people who had a lot of commitments and so i feel that i think uh, they all should be given opportunities okay there are so many singers that i that i involve i go to a lot of places as a freelance singer and i see a lot of talents there i feel that they have to get some organizers like you who uh, they can uh, like in the sense they can demonstrate their talent uh, to the outside world and all that so i feel very happy if somebody gets uh, opportunity it's a very um what do you say fine space to be in it's absolutely for you absolutely. also i mean it's absolutely, a, it's absolutely. such a contented feeling you know the end of the day that that's yeah absolutely Absolutely. Yeah, I feel very happy uh, that uh, they get any stages and they do perform well and all that. No, so one word of appreciation, like in the sense gratitude, is all. Even if they don't do, I don't mind. But still, if they say thank you so much, Kumar and Nipur, so, yeah, that's perfect. And they, I see that a lot of people are um, having a lot of shows through you, like uh, organized, fantastic organizers like you. So that I feel is the success. No, it's a really good thing to happen actually. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't like no, no, to talk you, much about <laughs> me, but then yes, there are a lot of good organizers, and then coming up with very good content, and then you know, making opportunities for very many artists, which is uh, the much needed thing uh, in today's times. And then yeah, uh, basically, even with that traffic, you know, there are a lot of shows, and there are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of venues. Uh, yeah, which is uh, a good state to be in. See, I I told you why you. I'll tell you. Um, in music industry, I feel so because I was not not fully into it, but still partially I know how it works. A lot of people who are uh, like in the sense very aggressive in mm. terms of uh, the chances or opportunities or trying to tap into somebody else's uh, opportunities and all that. that is when i feel we have to bring a lot of positivity in actually, oh, so true. right oh, so, so true. this is a bonding that uh, needs that k is one of the very beautiful things that you have done uh, yes. in terms of bringing all the bonding uh, in, in in terms of all the musicians in uh, especially in bangalore and karnataka uh, that was needed actually i'll tell you this It also you know in needed. fact we started during the covid times exactly like the way you said that's when we realized that you know uh, there were so many organization which had an association and they could approach the government or the policy makers or any philanthropy agencies to ask for help or seek help mm -hmm. but then um, artists were left out mm -hmm. and that's when you know in fact uh, this crossed my mind and then of course i had a discussion with mr pravin devo yeah. and then uh, that's how it was born Absolutely. and what has ka given you i mean if i have to <laughs> ask you in short See, I mean, more uh, than giving. Uh, for me, I think, yeah. See, what is the importance of its being? Yeah, rather that. that I will tell you. Musicians, I I have worked with a lot of musicians actually, uh, the orchestra musicians and even the studio artists and all that. They they are into music. They are geniuses in their whatever they do, the keyboard or whatever they do or about mm. this whole thing. That was very, that was needed. The awareness was very much needed. in terms of how uh, like in his health insurance policies nobody had i was so surprising actually i i knew that they took take it very uh, easily but covid times is when a uh, lot of uh, these things you know struggles came i think k is something which is it's not only about opportunities or getting the stages for that's people so or anything true. that's so true and a very good observation because k was built not just for providing platforms it was built uh, to bring awareness about the welfare measures Correct. and also how to help themselves also with medical insurance and Correct. education facilities these are the primary three things that you know we want really concentrate upon and then build it on that Correct. Correct. 
foundation. That, so yes. that is where I feel that it uh, it actually is a very important. Uh, it's a very good observation. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot no, of people know. sometimes ask us, you know, what are you giving us? I mean, there is. We can't quantify that. No, you know, now uh, it's very difficult. If we have a tie up with some hospital or we, if we are able to provide some kind of scholarships to some children uh, who needed that little money also as a support for their fees and all that. And also, I think recently you might have known that you know we covered uh, many people you know under this insurance coverage of about 2 lakh. Yes, uh, yes, 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 I'm under. So, K, um, I feel that okay, this insurance thing was a very very important aspect and also about the opportunities the various artists will get through this career wing career wing correct correct mm. and also there was a mention about um, the uh, children's education being taken care of. some of uh, the musicians who are not able to take care of that a uh, lot of philanthropic like uh, work that you do uh, really really great and i am very very happy about it actually that I'm also a part thank of this. You, thank you, and then thanks for uh, uh, coming up with wanting to be a volunteer to help us through also in many of the areas that we want to, you know, get there. But it's a long process. I know. I yeah. understand. I understand. I'll do as much as I can. Definitely. Now that <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit free in terms of um, my personal commitments, well, so now. I can. I have a bit of thanks, time. So thanks, thanks. I, I know that you're always there for uh, the artist fraternity, which is uh, what you know. I was. In fact, I started my interview also with the same thing that you're a very kind-hearted person, <laughs> and <laughs> that kind-hearted person also comes hand in hand with not being able to say no. Sometimes, or most often. But does that, you know, get you into trouble any time? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to always uh, say yes. That's correct. <clears throat> no, I'll do the calculations <laughs> before I say yes or no, definitely. Yeah, very quickly I do those calculations. But most of the time, yes, uh, whatever has been asked will be doable only. That is why I say so yes, good. definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. somewhere, no, you need to say you are doing something great. Okay, so uh, at least be a part of it. Try to help that cause, right? That I I would always not like just the cause, but generally also as a person when you meet people, friends, because I I've seen you that you are a very helpful and a supportive person. So does that get you into any kind of <laughs> trouble? <laughs> No, I think no. It it's no, it, I, it, I, no, I, <laughs> I feel happy about it and. Uh, I can't Be recall good. anything, any any instance good. where I helped somebody <laughs> and it put me in trouble. <laughs> it's so, so good, it's so good. So, playing the role of a father, husband, counterpart, colleague, co-artist, and artist. Don't you think it is a lot of, you know, um, I would rather put it like this, okay overflowing bowl of emotions and how do you really manage them all so well with the same zest and enthusiasm as much as I know I think you have played all the roles really well that's what comes across you know in all your uh, be it small little posts or uh, the follow-up uh, of the fans like me <laughs> how do you don all of these roles so well perfectly well as I told, actually, in the initial part of the interview, I was telling that something helps keep learning from something, right? So it doesn't mean, okay, just first of all, uh, through social media, never judge that a person is happy. <laughs> <laughs> never judge that a That's person is having a gala of a time in his entire life. No, it's not like that. Because only the gala of the time moment only will come to Facebook. Other things will never come. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, being mature, I feel... Uh, gaining a lot of knowledge in like interacting with people like you and um, in my office and my colleagues in everywhere no you keep you know how to balance things right it's very important to balance things That's nowadays okay. actually i know that um, a lot of us will struggle a lot of things will not go according to your likes in your office in your uh, 
personal life, everywhere. It's it's not easy actually. It's very tough. If you go into one person's life, you'll know exactly understand, especially the musicians or a singer. They'll be struggling a lot. But at the end of the day, when you realize that, okay, you need to balance. When you do that balance properly, I think it'll it'll be a very happy ending for you. So the grounding factor for you to be what you are is <laughs> it's Vona, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, yeah, she See, she's a it is no. difficult for a wife. Trust me, it is very difficult for a wife who's actually a popular face and a name in the public eye. And then all of us wanting to have uh, some kind of a little time with you, even after the concerts or before the concerts, all, you know, in the process of, you know, uh, knowing you as a popular name or a figure. And uh, for Bhuvana to be sitting there and then holding back at the same time, you know, wanting to give love and be supportive is not an easy task, Absolutely. you know. I Absolutely. feel this for almost all the spouses of the Absolutely. artists. Absolutely. Because, Absolutely. you know, they are the ones who need to be really patted on their back Absolutely. because Absolutely. they understand you, which is why you're there out and then Absolutely. doing what the public wants and then giving up on what actually she needs. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you, you told the... Perfect words, actually. Spouse play a magnanimous role in terms of uh, success of any artist. Uh, like how, like it's it's you you can understand actually. They need time, right? Yes. Being a spouse, you need uh, time. They need you to take them out. Um, at least you get uh, yes. one or two days in your weekend to spend with them. Uh, so that is when you get your shows or you get your uh, so things, true. right? And it all happens so, mostly in the weekends. Yeah, so it's really, really important. And Buna, I'm very lucky to have her actually, like a person yeah. like her, where she understands uh, me and my interests, my passion, and tries to support me in your every schedule. Uh, my schedule. Yeah, absolutely. It's not absolutely. Easy. It's really not easy. Absolutely. And it's very, very important, as you told, actually, uh, the spouse support is really, really important, actually. I see that. I see that also. Because, you know, I have observed in many shows that we have gone also. All of us want to take a picture with, you know, this artist, that artist and everybody. And when you're done giving the picture with everybody else, the last person that will come with you to take a picture for with <laughs> is your spouse or your children or your mother. Correct, or your, correct, correct. So I think the family correct. plays a major role, correct. you know, in... Uh, making you an artist also absolutely. in that process they are definitely you know their contribution is really really high absolutely, absolutely. and what about your children Kumaran? children are very sweet actually i have uh, one boy and one girl ah. um, and congratulations i think you know he recently got into uh, iit yes, premium sir. institute <laughs> <laughs> yeah he got into iit uh, patna so mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, doing engineering physics b tech there and he's a very, what do you say, he's also a musician. <laughs> oh, so he, I'm very happy that he got into Interiority uh, Music Club. So he plays guitar, he composes music, he sings. So he made a mark oh, one there. step ahead of the father then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very Glad. happy that uh, he's a multi-talented uh, boy. And uh, all the very best to him. I think he, he will. Very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Daughter, already she's a singer. So basically she sings. She's uh, finished her uh, oh, really? charismatic. Yeah, yeah. She's doing senior now. And uh, she's into singing completely. And uh, means she learns a lot and she sings a lot. And I'm also very hopeful that she'll become a good singer in the future. <laughs> That's every singer father's uh, desire, I think, you know, aspiration yeah, yeah, to see yeah. the child there, you know, where you have already given a performance. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Best of luck to both of them and also um, lovely talking to you and uh, nice to know that core corner of your uh, soul. Uh, thank thanks you, for thank allowing me to, you know, get there and then take out all those information from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. For one, one last thing, yeah. one takeaway of being a, an artist. <clears throat> being an artist. Mm, it gives you so many things. Soul satisfaction. I, I would say that uh, I'm 
I'm I'm happy from inside because I'm an artist. I feel so. To be called an artist itself Absolutely. is an honor, right? It's an honor, and associated being associated with uh, any art, I would say music, is something really great to happen to anybody, and uh, have to cherish that, right? It's it's very you are very lucky to be uh, born an artist. as an artist. Absolutely. Born or called an artist. Happiness, yes. happiness, happiness. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much. I had a lovely time. It was such same a good here, conversation, at least I must say. <laughs> same Thanks here, for same here. giving that kind of vibe to be able to uh, ask you so many questions, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we shall really have many more episodes of many more artists in same the here. near future, hopefully, and then uh, let's create some great content of artists. Absolutely, absolutely. All the Content very best. Content for Rajini. and of artists, yes. you know, to be made available to the public. Absolutely. Hopefully, we will succeed. <laughs> absolutely. All the very best to you, Rajni. And I would like to see a lot of artists sitting here, yeah. and I uh, want to listen to them, see yeah, their experiences, their life stories. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. You're doing a fantastic job, and all the very best to you. Thank you so much, Kundan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.